Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. It's the first week of a new year and I have got a great recipe to share with you. I love pasta salad. I make it with orzo pasta, but I'm trying to eat cleaner this month. I'm not gonna call what I'm doing a diet. I'm gonna say that I'm eating cleaner, as my brother likes to say. And I'm eliminating the pasta in this recipe and I'm exchanging it for this delicious cauliflower. I love this. This is a chopped cauliflower. It's coarse, so it's kind of like the orzo pasta that I put in my pasta salad. I love this stuff because the store has done all of the work for me. This is going right on my baking pan. I've lined it with some parchment paper and I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. And what we're gonna do is roast this cauliflower. Cauliflower can be a little pungent to the taste and to the smell, although I absolutely love it. But roasting this really brings out the sweetness in the cauliflower and it mellows the cauliflower out so that we can taste the other ingredients in it. Now I have a little bit of an Italian seasoning blend here. I keep it in my mm -hmm. oregano jar, just like this jar. <laughs> and I'm gonna sprinkle this right over the top. And I'm also going to add a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit. And we'll hit it with some more salt at the end. So just a pinch there. And I'm gonna take my spatula, just make sure that that olive oil got all throughout my cauliflower. Now I'm gonna make a nice even layer. That way it cooks a little bit more evenly. There's gonna be some strays out there on the edge, but that's okay. I like the really dark brown crispy pieces. Mm, so, so good. Now I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. This is gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. I want it to get lightly golden brown on top. So, in my oven it goes, and when it comes out, I'll show you how easy it is to put this salad together. My cauliflower is done. Mm, to me, it smells delicious. But if my husband walks in, he's not gonna have the same feeling that I do. Oh, you've either gotta love cauliflower to endure the aroma, or you hate it. Now, this is going right into my bowl. I'm not letting it cool. I wanna put it right in there nice and hot. Oh, that looks so good. Put this aside. I like to mix my ingredients while it's hot because to me, it makes everything taste a little better. When that heat permeates through these ingredients, it's just gonna spark them and help them to release their oils and just saturate this cauliflower with flavor. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. And basically pasta salad is all about what you like. Now, I love these little grape tomatoes and I think they're excellent in pasta salad. I did take them and slice them in half. I'm not a fan of having a whole one in my mouth. Um, I've had too many bad experiences with those. <laughs> so, I like to cut them in half, but if you don't like the grape tomatoes or you just wanna make life a little easier, then by all means, get a regular tomato, de-seed it, and use the flesh, and that is just fine. Now, I'm also adding my black olives. I love black olives. Absolutely delicious. And stirring that right in. And normally, I would add some capers to this. 
I looked in my pantry, I looked in my fridge, I did not have any capers. I can't believe I'm out of them. Didn't have time to run to the store. So to add a little bit of salty, briny flavor, I'm taking a little bit of my olive juice and I'm pouring in about a tablespoon. Now you can definitely eliminate this, but I do love that salty, briny taste. And I also have some Asiago cheese. You can use Parmesan cheese. You can use uh, Asiago as I'm using a feta, or you can eliminate the cheese altogether. It's not necessary, but hey, what would pasta salad be without a little bit of cheese? So I'm gonna grate maybe about a quarter of a cup right on top and while I've got my grater out, I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon zest and that's going right over the top. Now when you zest a lemon, you only want to use the yellow. You don't wanna get into the rind, the white part, because that's super bitter and it would not be pleasant. It tastes really bitter. That lemon. We grew these. My husband planted a lemon tree for me on Mother's Day and it has definitely rewarded us with lemons. I'm going to stir that in. Mm, this smells so good. Now last but not least, I'm adding some basil to this. I've got some fresh basil. This is the last basil off of my summer plant. I can't believe that it's lasted until January, but it has. And I want the pretty green color and I want the flavor. All I'm gonna do is tear the leaves. If you're not a fan of basil, use fresh spinach. A lot of times when I have some zucchini squash, I'll roast it and I'll chop that and put that in the salad. I've even added avocado. So again, it's what you like. Stir that in. Now I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna see what it needs. If we need a little bit more salt, a little bit more Italian seasoning, get a tomato. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I could sit and eat this whole bowl right now. Even though I absolutely love the taste of cauliflower, the tomato and the seasoning, the olive oil, everything, it just mellowed it out. And honestly, it's like a little mock pasta salad. Now I am gonna take just a little bit more of my Italian seasoning and put it right over the top. I know a lot of people are on the keto diet. Um, I'm a firm believer in all things in moderation. I just have to enforce the moderation part. <laughs> That's my issue. But I think this would be maybe a keto friendly recipe. This is so good. Mm, one more bite. Mm. You've got to try this. Even if you're not a fan of cauliflower, when you eat this, you're going to become a fan really, really quick. Mm. I can't wait to go have a little bit more. My husband should be having a little bit. We're having chili for supper tonight. I'm hoping that the chili aroma will take away the aroma of the cauliflower. Mm. I'm going to go enjoy some of this. You're a blessing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.